right, let's talk about this uh, palm cinder. So I have a few here that we are going to compare. I'm going to tell you a little bit my experience with them, just, if, just in case if you have to buy some of them. So uh, let's start with this one. I just took this out of the box. This is a new one, as you can see here. This is the model. I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So it's PCL416B as Bravo. So we have this, it's a 50% uh, reduced vibration, maximum control, compact size, 18 volt, three years of warranty, the pads, and what else, something, um, ah, the specs. So if you want to see the, the specs, here you have it. It says OPM 11,000, uh, we don't have a speed control or anything like that. It does a port, and basically that's it. So this is a very basic one. So I had the previous uh, version of this. Uh, the bad thing about this is that the, at least with the older one, the button uh, was uh, filled with dust and after, you know, 15 days of use, uh, it will stop working. So I like this, it has the, uh, the rubber thing here. Uh, so that way you can turn it on and off. You see? Hopefully this uh, rubber button here is going to last. Other than that, I mean, it's just Velcro, put it here, battery, take it, put it, and that's it. So here we have the, I think some letters there. There we go. Uh, it says, okay, there, there you have the battery. It says listed with op uh, operator menu P195. So here we have the, the model number. Again, we have the serial number. Uh, always save the serial number just in case if your tool disappear uh, if the cops ask you for that that is a good thing to have it so as you can see here we have the the port that they were talking about I mean it's kind of tiny uh, I, I don't have the other part that goes here but I, okay if you want to use it use it great otherwise very compact it seems like a decently uh, a little bit I mean if you use it like a big battery uh, it's not going to be very well balanced I think if you use a, a little one it will be okay but you're not going to be able to stand for a very long time so I think it's decent all right so that is the the bad thing it doesn't have a the dial thing uh, to change this the speed and you have to have a special port I mean, thing to put it there. Uh, other than that, uh, let's work on this one. So here we have the, the Bosch one. The Bosch one, I've been using it for uh, quite a while. The battery, sometimes is difficult to uh, to remove. Here we have the, the serial number. I'm going to show you the model number, just in case if you have to buy something like that. This one is no well balanced at all. So as you can see here, this is the GE x 18 b 5 so you have a 6000 to 10000 i think rpm i guess <laughs> uh, or the oh what was the, the thing that was said on the on the box for the other one the omp uh oh no the opm so this uh, this is the the, the year that was made uh, serial number everything so again this is at least to me, I don't like much the design, but it works. It's, again, is uh, with Velcro, you put the battery here. And as you can see, like kind of long, here you have the, the speed uh, dial. I mean, the dial, you know, to change the, the speed. This is all metal, this is a good thing. The rest is all plastic. And if you see here, it will fall, you know, so because yeah, the battery will uh, take it uh, down that, that way. The, the thing that I like it is the, the button. You see, it works uh, fine. I'm going to push it here so it doesn't make the noise. So that way, you push it a few times, you know, you turn it on, turn it back on. And that's it. Here you have the, the speed. And that's it. And it works. Uh, then we have the, um, the DeWalt. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to, to remove it. And as you can see here, we have the, um, the model. And we have the serial number, I guess, uh, as well. Just always save everything just in case. Uh, there you go. The model number um, uh, is DCW210TY2. And the serial number, uh, yes, I think the serial number is DN3T4Z5. Uh, everything is, um, okay, this one is in Mexico instead of uh, China. Uh, it's like very well rugged uh, tool. So as you can see, it has, uh, you know, a rubber uh, grip. So, and as you can see, it's very well 
a balance, it will not uh, fall. Even you put the battery like this on the side and it will stay. It will not fall like this or anything like that. I know you cannot see it from here, but it's not going to fall like, like that. So it's going to be flat completely. It seems like the most compact tool. So if you compare it with the, with the rest, you see they're big. And uh, here we have the, the Ryobi one. And the Ryobi is kind of the same. But I think this one is um, better balanced, and at least in that case. You have this. I don't know if you can connect the vacuum cleaner here, otherwise you have this bag, the same thing like you have in the other case, and the other one doesn't have any bag, you have to use the, the port that comes uh, over there and plug in something, maybe another bag uh, like this. Here you have the tiny button, I don't like this, uh, the button, you see the button is too little, it seems like one button, one power button of the DeWalt is like two of the Ryobi, so bi the bigger buttons the better. Here you have everything in one place, so that is a good thing, so with this you turn it on, turn it off, and then you know you can change the speed uh, right away. Uh, here with the the, uh, the Bosch, you, you have this here and you can turn it on and off with this. So basically one hand, you can do everything. Uh, here, there is no button, I mean, to change the speed is you turn it on, or turn it off, and that's it. So these are the main differences that you're going to see with this, at least. I like it, it seems like very nice. I mean, it's no metal like, you know, the Bosch, at least in this area. So plastic, but it seems like it's going to be uh, rugged. So at least that is the differences that I see in this type of uh, tools so if you want to learn more about tools go to my playlist uh, you will see all my videos about those and i am in us if you need tools electronics so let me know i can ship it to you otherwise i'll leave you the link and you can buy it yourself thank you for watching and see you next time